Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, AVSI statement on Senate FAA reauthorization bill, Intel partners with International Olympic Committee for Drone Light Show, and Textron Systems unveils Night Warden. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI. Brian Nguyen, President and CEO of AUVSI, issued a statement on the unmanned aircraft systems provisions in the FAA Reauthorization Act of 2017, which was introduced late last week by the Senate Commerce Committee. Quote, like the House FAA Reauthorization Bill, the U.S. Senate bill demonstrates a strong, sustained commitment for the safe and responsible growth of commercial UAS in the United States. The bill contains several provisions that will help lay the foundation for more complex operations, such as mandating a coordinated effort between the FAA, FCC, and NTIA to report on spectrum needs for small UAS. Congress has clearly embraced the need to propel the country forward on the march toward full UAS integration, including beyond line-of-sight operations, flights over people, access to higher altitudes, and even package delivery. We look forward to working with both the House and the Senate to realize the full potential of UAS. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. When the dust settles on the Drone Racing League Championships later this summer, the top pilot will walk away with $100,000. The telecast of the DRL Alliance Work Championships began last week on ESPN as 16 pilots competed in venues such as NFL stadiums and abandoned malls. DRL CEO Nicholas Horbeski said that drone racing is just a small part of what is becoming a multi-billion dollar industry. Kespri has formally entered into the insurance sector, which will allow the company to extend its end-to-end -end and easy-to-use enterprise drone platform by offering insurance-specific functionality, such as inspection quality imagery for roofing and automated analysis to assist claim adjusters. Kespri has also announced that to continue extending its insurance capabilities and allow for easy integration with existing enterprise applications, it is opening its architecture to third-party software providers. A new report, Drone Simulator Market by Platform, Component, Device Type, Drone Type System, and Region, Global Forecast to 2022, suggests the drone simulator market is projected to grow from an estimated $376.9 million in 2017 to $764.7 million by 2020 at a compound annual growth rate of 15.20% from 2017 to 2022. The increasing use of drones for commercial and military applications has led to increased demand for drone pilots across the globe. AAVSI and the Transportation Research Board will host the 4th Annual Automated Vehicle Symposium in San Francisco from July 11th through the 13th. The event, which will be held at the Hilton San Francisco Union Square, will bring together more than 1,500 representatives from academic institutions, government, and industry to exchange ideas and insights to expedite the future of automated vehicles. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Intel has announced a long-term technology partnership with the International Olympic Committee, which will bring Intel's drone light show technology to future Olympic Games. Through the partnership, which is expected to transform the Olympic Games and the Olympic experience, Intel will join the Olympic Partner Worldwide Sponsorship Program and thus become a worldwide TOP partner through 2024. Quote, we are excited to join the Olympic movement and integrate Intel's innovative technologies to advance the Olympic Games experience for fans around the world, said Brian Kranich, Intel's chief executive officer. Besides incorporating UAS into the Olympic experience, Intel will put much of its efforts and energy into infusing its 5G platforms, VR, 3D, and 360 degree content development platforms, artificial intelligence platforms, along with other silicon solutions to enhance the Olympic Games. 
Thanks to our new innovative global partnership with Intel, fans in the stadium, athletes, and audiences around the world will soon experience the magic of the Olympic Games in completely new ways, says IOC President Thomas Bach. Intel's technology is expected to be used initially in February 2018 at the Olympic Winter Games in South Korea to provide real-time virtual reality viewing of the Olympic Winter Games. At the Paris Air Show, Textron Systems Unmanned Systems introduced the Knight Warden Tactical Unmanned Aircraft System with a max speed of up to 90 knots, 15 hours of endurance, and payloads of up to 130 pounds. With more than 400 hours of flight time under its belt, the Knight Warden TUAS has undergone thorough internal testing and demonstration efforts. Quote, since first announcing the Shadow M2, we've made significant improvements and enhancements to the system, so much in fact that there are many differences between the two platforms, says Bill Irby, Unmanned Systems Senior Vice President and General Manager. By providing an optional SATCOM package, the Knight Warden TUAS has a capability common to bigger Group 4 medium altitude long endurance platforms. The system also has significant operational flexibility thanks to having a range of up to 1,100 kilometers and a fly from home or hub station capability. The Textron Systems Weapon and Sensor Systems Precision Guided Glide Munition Fury can also be installed since further intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, payload capacity, and strike capabilities can be installed. The Knight Warden TUAS typically uses an automated takeoff and landing system, but it also, quote, incorporates enhanced landing gear, remote taxi, and an air vehicle parachute for emergency operations. The vehicle can also use unimproved landing surfaces. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.